Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno, the Meniere's Disease Warrior. How you all doing? I'm actually having a great day today, uh, considering the week wasn't uh, all that great, and I will get into that um, as we go on. But a lot of times, you know, people are, they've, they've had, you know, no vertigo or whatever for, um, you know, for a while, right? And then they get into a flare, and it's almost as if they, they give up. And they're like, oh, well, I can't do this, I can't do that. And, it, it, and all these things happen. And it's, it's, it's normal to think that way. But you really want to try to, you know, try to be better. You know, every day you want to try to be a little better, a little better, a little better. And you know what? If, 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 if you got to rest, you got to rest. Okay? Nothing wrong with it. It fight. That's called fighting. And I think the thing is people don't seem to get that. They think resting even, you know... People with the with Meniere's do it too. Is they, they think resting is, you know, giving up, and it's not. It, your body needs to rest. Your mind, like I've said before in other videos, your mind is working double time, so you need to rest. And you know, and that's why, like, you know, some people too, like they haven't had an attack in a little while, a couple of weeks or a month or whatever, and then they have an attack and they go into almost like a panic mode. And, and and they're running to the ER, they're running to the doctors and all this stuff when, when you kind of know what's going to happen. Um, and, I, and I know that feeling too because when I first started dealing with this, I did the same thing. I was going to the ER, I was going to the doctors, I was panicking every time I had a vertigo attack. And then now it's like, you know, dealing with, you know, vertigo for 10 years and it's like, okay, it's going to happen. <laughs> Let it go through and then... Maybe tomorrow will be better. There's always tomorrow. So let's talk about my week, and, and you kind of get what I'm getting at here. So, you know, Sunday I ended up doing a live stream at Mass. And usually when I do live streams, it kind of really knocks me out for the day. Um, but it didn't. I had a great Sunday with the grandkids and everybody, and it was a wonderful day. Um, Monday felt good. I, you know, went out and did some things and got some stuff done. Same thing with Tuesday. Um, and then Wednesday came. Now, Wednesday morning, I woke up and I felt funny. But I was like, you know, I need to do something for me instead of running around like crazy. So I, I need to do something for me. So I said, well, I'll go fishing. You know, I don't feel too bad. Yeah, my tinnitus was ramped up. Pressure was, there was some ear fullness, but it wasn't too bad. So I figured, oh, I'll give it a shot. You know, I'm just going to be local. I'm not traveling anywhere. I don't do that anymore. So, I'm <clears throat> just down the street. So, I was there probably about 10 minutes. I just got there. And 10 minutes, I'm casting and casting. And then all of a sudden, now I'm at a lake. You know, lakes don't have a current, generally. So, I'm at a lake. And all of a sudden, I feel like I'm moving. Right? Here's the lake, and here's where I'm fishing. And I start feeling like I'm doing this. And I'm like, Okay. I need to get home, okay? I, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but let's not take the chance. Let's just get in the car and get home before something could happen, okay? But the thing is, before that, even though I had the tinnitus, ears were kind of full, I wasn't thinking of the what if. I was going to go enjoy the day, hopefully I would feel better as the day went on, okay? And I didn't. So, yeah, I got home. And I really wasn't feeling all that good. Now the tonight is really ramped up and my head started feeling like a vice. So I ate some lunch and uh, I ate some lunch and then I, f I was dozing on the chair. My wife came home and I just looked at her. You know, I was just like, I couldn't even talk. Getting up was hard. I stood up and I fell back into the chair, thank God. Then, you know, my wife's like, okay, what do you want to do? And I, I just kind of like, just get me to the bed. Because now I'm at a point with this disease is I don't want to take medication first as a rescue. I'd rather see if taking a nap, sleeping it off, will make me feel better. So she's like, okay. So she, my wife is, I'm, I'm very fortunate, very lucky, blessed. So my wife, you know, is walking me down the hallway as I'm bouncing off of walls, tripping over thing, tripping over myself, and we get in the bedroom, and lucky, our bedroom isn't huge, 
you know, it's a it's a decent sized room, but it's not like huge. And the bed's like pretty close to the door. And I did a face plant. Luckily, the bed was there, right on the bed. And I did twist something on my neck when I did that. So I just rolled over. I fell asleep. You know, after a little while. And I woke up, and I, I still had some vertigo. I was still off and on, so I, I used my cane. You know, I dozed off a little bit on the chair. But as the night went on, I kind of was feeling somewhat better, not better enough to go do something. And I wasn't going to do the Zoom meeting, but uh, I just couldn't bring myself to telling my partner, Rachel, that I wasn't going to be there. <laughs> so basically, I just sat in my computer room, uh, with the camera off, monitor off, once I logged in and everything, turned the monitor off and just used the microphone and listened so I wouldn't get that thing. So then, um, you know, after that's all done with the bed. But then Thursday, I woke up and literally, I thought somebody was cranking a vice on my head. It just was, and we had weather outside um, yesterday. You know, we had low pressure coming through. So, yeah, I had the whole nine yachts. Vertigo, tinnitus, pressure, nausea, diarrhea, you name it. It was, everything was coming out of me yesterday. I had a major, major attack. So, I just did nothing all day. I rested. You know, I contacted my partners that I co-host a Zoom meeting with on Thursday nights, which is three of us. So, if I miss or one of them miss, there's this two, always two people there. So I, I, you know, early in the afternoon, things were not getting better. So I just, I'm not going to make it tonight, blah, 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 blah. Went back to bed. Woke up. I felt a little better. Felt better. Um, but we had to change our phone plan because there's only me and my wife on it now. So my wife's like, hey, you want to go? Do you feel all right? And I'm like, well, if you drive, I'll go. So she drove and I had my cane and she was holding on to my other hand. So we get in here, we did all that, and we got back home. And then this morning I woke up and, you know, boom, I felt great. I felt good. I felt been feeling good all day. I don't know, you know, whatever it was passed. Maybe I had too much salt. Maybe I, salt in the storm or whatever. Um, I am on a Zempic, which I'm, my body's starting to get used to now for diabetes. So, you know, maybe things are starting to settle down and that was part of it. I don't know what caused it. But so today I felt better. So I'm like, okay, beautiful day. I'm going to go do something for me. I'm going to go fish. I'm going to go relax, get some sun, you know, just have some time for me, clear my head. Um, because my grandson's home on the Fridays because he has no preschool on Fridays. And he gets loud. And he can actually, and has done it, triggered me into an attack. So I'm like, okay, let me go. Okay, let me just go for a couple hours and, you know, so I'm not, and he was starting already in the morning with the screaming. And he's autistic, so it, I don't get mad about it. It is what it is. So I did that and I came home. I rested for a little bit and, and that was it. But the thing I'm getting at is here, just because Wednesday and Thursday I didn't feel good didn't mean I'm throwing everything up in the air and starting from square one again. No, 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 no. I'm continuing where I left off. Because I don't want to go back to square one. I don't want to go back to 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 to, to depending on medications and Valium and depending on um, using a cane or a walker. Not that I don't care. I mean, not that I'm worried about pe what people think because I don't care what people think. I'm 57. I was 48 using a cane once in a while. And it doesn't bother me. But for me personally... I know I'm not going to get better with this, but I can enjoy myself when I feel good. And 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 you see so many times that people just give up. Just give up. You know, um, somebody posted, I we did a video yesterday and somebody commented, I'm just take wasting time. And it's like, you know, the thing is you're wasting time because you're not doing anything. You're not trying. You're too busy worrying about everything. Even if you feel good, you're worrying that something's going to happen. And you can't. You just can't live your life like that. You just can't. And I don't know how people do it. I just don't. I don't. I, I mean, I should know because I did it. 
But I guess where I overcame things, um, you know, thanks to people in my life, you know, my friend Gene and Santana, <coughs> all these people, it helped me overcome it because I listened to their advice. I listened to them. So it's not as bad anymore. And I can overcome it and I can deal with it and I can move on. And hopefully I'll stay like this for a while. But I know at some point, you know, I'm 57 years old, 58 in September. Life's going to start going like that at some point in the next 10 years maybe. So I, I understand all that. Okay. But while I, while I can and when I can, I'm going to enjoy it. And, you know, that's me. Okay. Now this channel, I always talk about my experiences. That was my experience. This week, I really hope that it helps somebody that might be thinking, you know, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. You can do it. And I understand there are people that are worse off than me that, yeah, they're literally in bed 24 hours a day. Yeah, they, they're probably in a wheelchair. And I understand that. And there's nothing against that. Okay, nothing against it. But for me, sitting in a room with four walls all around me, looking at a computer all day or looking on Facebook all day. It wasn't me before, and it's, I don't want it to be me forever. So that's why I keep going and I keep moving and I keep making these videos and hopefully somebody gets in their head that they can go do this, they can go run out um, when they feel good and rest when they don't feel good. Okay? Because that's all it's about. Then there's nothing wrong with resting. That's the other thing, too, is people get that in the back of their mind. Yeah, I'm resting. I'm not doing anything. I'm being lazy. I might as well give up. No, that's fighting because that's what you're supposed to be doing. You know, your brain is working double time. Okay, in my case, when I'm bilateral and literally only have half an ear working, it's probably running triple time. And luckily today, baby, hey, the rest for the two days gave my brain enough energy to run full stat at full, full speed today. I don't know. But... Resting is part of it, and I did it t two days this week. I did nothing. Nothing. So, and I don't feel bad about it, and I'm not getting myself down, and I'm not going back to square one or saying it's over. So, on that note, guys, hey, hope you have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.